Hello and welcome back. I've picked up the latest news for you so you know the, the latest crypto trends and we traditionally start with cryptocurrency rates as of today. Uh, Bitcoin is now trading at $28,899. It is 3.06% lower comparing to the previous uh, day and 0.56% higher comparing to the previous week. Ethereum is now $1,884, that is 3.40% lower comparing to the previous day and 4.42% lower comparing to the previous week. BNB is now $329, uh, that is 4.13% lower comparing to the previous day and 1.07% higher comparing to the previous week. So that's the picture and let's switch to the news and figure out what affects this picture. Shiba Inu whales unload billions amid cheap price retreat. The cryptocurrency market has been highly volatile in recent weeks, with Shiba Inu making headlines as a popular meme-inspired cryptocurrency. Over the last 24 hours, the price of the popular meme coin witnessed a slight uptick, uptick of approximately 5%, which drew the attention of investors and traders. However, the cryptocurrency has seen a decline of 2.32% in resulting in mixed sentiments uh, among its holders. The minor surge in the price of Shiba Inu was enough to stimulate selling activities among crypto whales, large investors with significant holdings of digital assets. Such market players are known to have a significant impact on the cryptocurrency market and their behavior is often closely monitored by other investors, as you know. So a considerable amount of Shiba Inu was recently transferred um, to two of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges, Uniswap and Binance. The transfers were made in multi multiple transactions, with the largest of them carrying two... <clears throat> to over 2 billion and over 1 million sheep respectively. The goal of these transfers was likely to sell sheep tr uh, triggered by earlier price surge. The total value of these transfers is significant as the recent overnight price surge has increased the value of 6 billion sheep to uh, 64,440 uh, dollars. Meta has AI to thank after posting $5.7 billion profits in the first quarter amidst um, layoffs. So, Meta has reported a profit of $5.7 billion for the first quarter of this year, surpassing expectations for a period in which many jobs were cut at a big tech company. Uh, the company laid off 11,000 employees last year, citing the need for the company to become efficient again. Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Zuckerberg dazzled Wall Street with, the, with an earnings report that showed progress towards the year efficiency and a return to growth thanks to AI-powered content recommendations. Uh, it said artificial intelligence was driving good results across its businesses. Uh, so, in its latest figures, the company's revenue stood at $28.6 billion, while the number of people on Facebook every month rose to just under $3 billion. Meta's shares rose to um, rose 11% on Thursday. Gemini's Cameron Winkle boss has accused U.S. regulators of double standards in regards to their dealing with the First Republic Bank crisis. Um, so, um, Winkle was tweeted that if the First Republic Bank had been a crypto bank, it would have been assassinated weeks ago. It is worth noting that the First Republic began encountering structural challenges with its balance sheet at the time, at the same time that Silicon Valley Investment Bank and Silvergate Bank were winding down operations or being closed down by federal regulators. According to a, uh, to a recent report, advisors at First uh, Republic Bank will now try persuading major U.S. banking institutions to provide extra financial aid 
uh, due to the government's refusal to put the bank into receivership. The bank has already received uh, $30 million in aid, and advisors said that the current private market solution to the firm's liquidity problems would see the bank remain in operations. Government receivership, on the other hand, is nothing but a closed bank scenario. Readers should remember that both Silvergate and Silicon Valley Bank were taken into government receivership in early March and uh, viewers as well. Dimension launches IBC-enabled EVM rollup on testnet to enhance Cosmos ecosystem. Blockchain scaling startup Dimension announced the launch of the world's first IBC-enabled EVM rollup on testnet in collaboration with uh, Evmos core teams and Kalechia. The latest offering is part of Dimension's roadmap to establish and bootstrap a new ecosystem of IBC-enabled rollups. The collaboration, on the other hand, will bring superior EVM blockchain access to the Cosmos ecosystem. According to the press release shared with Crypto Potato, the first EVM rollup is being deployed within the platform's initial testing uh, ground called 35C. It was launched through a collaboration with the EVMOS core development team as the rollup uh, roll uses Ethermint, which happens to be an implementation of the Ethereum virtual machine built on top of Dimensions rollup. French crypto traders declared $442 million worth of profits in recent tax year. Um, the figure was substantial, but was 10 times lower than the estimates of the gains made in 2021. The body made its claim based on the numbers of people disclosing their gains on tax returns. However, uh, the report um, claimed that the gains made in 2021 from the crypto assets trading in France amounted to more than $4 billion. Uh, uh, so, um, a flat rate tax of 30% is imposed on crypto trading profits. The tax was launched in 2019. The tax body explained that 20,000 tax households declared gains in 2022. And the newspaper noted that the body does not provide information on the proportion of this sum that was tax taxed. And um, under the terms of the law, the newspaper wrote 30% will have gone directly to the state coffers. Beat get to support AI developer fetch.ai with $10 million injection. Um, so, the funds will be directed at the future growth of the promising startup with options for listing of promising projects launched within its ecosystem on the native BeatGet launchpad. Um, the blockchain sector is becoming the next arena for the deployment of AI-based solutions, which have stormed the global digital industry with a successful launch of OpenAI's ChatGPT's model. Among the leading companies in the blockchain space developing such neural network solutions is the Fetch.ai startup, an ecosystem comprising any number of modules leveraging the centralized AI agent. The services Fetch.ai offers... Um, Offers include AI facilitating training tools, decentralized machine learning software, and an automated smart wallet supporting GPT modal API integrations. Other solutions provided uh, within the Fetch.ai ecosystem include CLI tools, indexer service, uh, services, and a client library, allowing it to act as an off-chain bridge for traditional layer one blockchain networks for facilitating P2P interactions in a decentralized environment. So, uh, in October 2021, the ECB and central banks in the Eurozone began investigating the digital euro. The ECB has released a new report detailing the progress made so far and revealing the design and distribution options approved by the ECB's governing council. Uh, with, with the digital yuan being, being rolled out in China, the ECB has disclosed crucial information on the digital euro's design. According to the ECB report, the European CBDC must meet the needs of Eurozone users and service providers. The digital euro will be available to European residents within a few years with traders, governments and non-resident account holders in Europe having privileged access to it. Payment service providers in the Eurozone will distribute the digital euro with access criteria applied, uh, applied in line with the payment services directive and other relevant legislation. And users uh, could access 
and use the digital euro via online banking applications and the ECB might even offer its interface. The first versions of the digital euro would allow contactless payments and QR code payments. So let's wait for digital euro to appear and for the moment when uh, we can um, get the use of it but meanwhile thank you for watching this video i will be back with the with the new portion of news um click the like and subscribe button and i will see you very soon bye bye